Okay, let's now do 9b, right? Again, geometry, right? So it says in the diagram below, C and A are points on the that lie on the circle. Okay, so they're both on the circumference over here. It says that C and B lie on the x-axis, right? So we know that their y values are both going to be zero. That's important. A, B is a tangent at point A. So A is 5 and 3. And the equation of the circle is y squared I mean, x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 4y plus 8 equals 0. Okay. So we're probably going to have to um, reformat that to make it easier to access, but that's okay. So let's first read the first question. It says, find the coordinates of C. So the coordinates of C lie on the circle. They told us that. And we know that its y value is equal to 0. So we can just sub in, right, that y value equaling to 0. And it should give us some insight okay so we get x squared minus 6x plus 8 okay so now we can just factorize so it's x what is it it's x minus 4 x minus 2 okay so we know that x equals 4 or x equals 2 right so now we need to um, be a little bit critical as to what is the value of c. We know that there are two intersections here, right? There's one over there and one over there. So this is going to be the 2 and this is going to be the 4. So c's coordinates are 4 and 0. Okay, so it's important to remember that the diagram is a tool for you, right? I think often students like kind of like disregard the diagram with questions like this, but the diagram does give you a bit of steer. Okay, so we've done c. Let's now move on to the next question. Next question is quite a big question, right? But let's not panic. Let's just see what we need to do. So it says, calculate the length of CB. Okay, so the most important thing is we need to know what we're talking about. So we know oh, that's the length we're looking for, okay? So that's interesting, okay? So we want to find that length there, okay? So if we want to find that length there, fundamentally, we want to find the x value for b, right? Because if we find the x value for b, then we can just quickly find the length. So that's not a problem. So what we should do is we should try and find the equation of this line, right? Because we find that the equation of this line, we can sub in a, right? We can use a to get the, um, to get the equation of that line. Um, and then we can just find our point b. But to get the equation of that line, right, we kind of need the gradient, okay? But what we could do is we could find, right, remember if we have a tangent and we draw a radius to that tangent, right, then we know, firstly, that this is 90 degrees, but we know that the gradient of the radius times by the gradient of the tangent has to equal negative 1. Okay, so if we can find the gradient of this line, then we can find the gradient of that line, get the equation of the line, find B, get our length. So we kind of know how we should be going about this. So let's first try to find the center of the circle. Okay, so we're going to first say find center of circle. Okay, so we know that we have this equation, right, for the circle. So let's just write it over here so we don't have to be flipping around all the time will just help us minus 6x is it plus 4y plus 8 equals 0 I think that's right did I change it no it's negative 4y marks don't change the question okay cool let's just double check okay we're good so now what we want to do is we want to get it into the form right we want to get into the form x minus something all squared um, plus y minus something all squared equals radius right? Because remember, this is the general form of a circle, right? So I'm just going to say equation. So generally, they make this P and Q, right? So I'm going to say equation of circle. That's what, So that's how we want to convert it, okay? So what are we going to have to do to this to get it into a form like this? Well, you should be thinking completing the square, right? If you're not thinking completing the square, start thinking completing the square, okay? So let's just group these together, Right, so I'm just I'm going to leave a space here because we're going to need to complete the square uh, minus 4y, and then I'm going to say negative 8 over here. Okay, so to complete the square here to make this x minus 3 squared, right, I'm just showing you where we want to be completing the square, right, we have to plus 9 over there, and here we're going to plus 4. 
okay? If you don't remember how to complete the square, I'm not going to go over that now. That you can go over. That's something you should have gone over for paper one, right? So basically, I've added 13. So I'm going to, um, I've added 13 that side. So I had to minus 13 off the side, which means I add 13 that side, okay? So this equals 5, okay? If you're not following that, it's like basic completing the square, okay? So please, please go over that because this is very important when it comes to circle geometry. Okay, so we know that the center of circle is 3 and 2, okay? That's the center of our circle, okay? So now we have two points. So now we want the gradient, right, between 3 and 2. I'm going to call the center of the circle, let's call it 0. I mean O, not 0, sorry. O, and what is it? A, right, which is 5 and three, okay? So remember gradient is change in y over change in x, okay? So I'm gonna say three minus two over five minus three, which gives me one over two. So that's my gradient of my radius, right? It's the gradient of this radius there, okay? Now we say the m, the gradient of the radius times by the gradient of the tangent has to equal negative one. Okay, so we know that the, the gradient of the radius equals a half. We've just calculated that. So now we know that the gradient of the tangent has to equal negative 2. Okay, remember the tangent here is just AB, right? And the, and the radius here is OA. Okay, just so that we're on the same page. Okay, so now we've got the gradient. Let's think about, now we're going to say AB, we're looking at the line AB, right? So we know Y equals MX plus C, so straight line, right? Tangent is a straight line. We say, okay, the gradient is negative 2. We know that A, right, remember A sits on that line. So sub A in, okay, and that can give us our value for C, which is 13. So... A general formula is this for AB, okay? But now we want to find the y, the, the x value of B because we know that the y value is zero. So let's sub that in, okay? So I'm getting that x is 13 over 2, which is actually 6.5, okay? So B, right, B is 6.5 and 0, okay? So now we found that distance over there, okay? If I'm going a little bit fast, just slow down the video or rewatch it. I do realize that I'm, I'm getting very excited here, okay? So we have, now we know that C is 4, B is 6.5. They lie on the same line. Therefore, right, don't forget what we're trying to calculate here, right? So distance or length, right? Length is probably a better word. Length of CB is 2.5 units. Remember to put in like the word units, right? Because it's important because it indicates that you know that you're working through length. Okay, so that's the end of this question. I hope that was helpful. Really interesting question that. Also a really good question to um, uh, look over because it tells us we need to revise our completing the square. We need to remember gradients. We need to remember um, gradients with a radius and a tangent. And then also just our straight lines, right? So this is a lot of, it draws on a lot of different areas of competency. Okay, let's now move on to question 10.